Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the internet. I'll be your host. And. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, cool. What are we taking here? Mana Vault's pretty good. Through the Breach is pretty good. I think it's Mana Vault, right? Mana Vault's just. The most value ever. Dear Dad, oh, Happy New Year, my dude. What up, Thwackerino? Taking it. Emrakul. Oh, man. We could have had Pack 1 through the Breach. Pack 2, Emrakul. Underground Sea is nice. Ancient Tomb is nice. I'm going to take the Emrakul, man. If that through the Breach comes back, which it might. People people sleep on that. Plus, we got Mana Vault. We only need 12 more mana, and then we're casting this dude. Gruel Signet. I like a Gruel Signet. Probably Signet. Uh, nothing else really stands out to me. Woodfall Primus is great. Also for showing and telling or through the breaching. Woodfall Primus is a solid fat daddy. I just brought a cable in here and now I don't know where it went. I guess I didn't put it on the desk and that's probably where my confusion lies. It's not even here. It's either Woodfall Primus or Gruel Signet. I think we can get more Signets. I don't think we can get more Woodfall Primuses. Also, if we get something like Tooth and Nail, you know? So there's a situation where I'm like, Signets are more replaceable than Woodfall Primus. And like, I just can't pass up living the dream of like, Thank you! Through the Breach, Woodfall Primus, kill your permanent, attack for six, sacrifice Woodfall Primus, kill your permanent, keep a 5-5 five five on board. Like, that's just the dream. Hogger, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Wishing you, as well, a happy and successful new year, my friend. Nicol Bolas. That's a dude. That is a dude. I don't know what to take here, though. If we're trying to be like a green-red, like, through the breach sneak attack deck, I have no idea what cards in this pack would be good with that. Dark Dwellers, maybe? Uh, Mike B is at work. Uh, Devoted Druid, actually. Devoted Druid seems great. All right. I overlooked the Devoted Druid for all the other fat, fat fatties. Copperline Gorge? Incubation Druid. Pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, we have a great tooth and nail package here, so that's pretty cool. Hey, that's pretty cool. <whistles> Kodama's Reach. All right. This is, uh, this is turned out to be quite a little ramper. A little ramperino. I woke up at 6 a.m. to people yelling outside my bedroom window, made coffee, settled down, then napped until 4. Nice. Sounds like you definitely settled down. I forgot the best position for this mic so I can see the things. I guess that's good. Oath of Druids. Oath of Druids seems rough. Vivian could be decent. I don't think she's great. I like Dig Through Time, but I'm also banking on that Through the Breach coming back. Or picking up a Sneak Attack or a Tooth and Nail. The problem is if we don't pick up... Uh, excuse me. If we don't pick up any of those, we just have a bad ramp deck. I don't take Vivian. Eureka and Plow Under. Okay. Okay. Okay, if we're going to Eureka, 
if we're going to Eureka, I think having Woodfall, Primus, and Emrakul are probably two of the cards you really want to have. I also like to plow, but, I mean, you know, I'm going to go Eureka. Oh, it came fudging back. I told you. What did I say? What did I say? Y'all need to listen. Y'all need to listen when I tell you. What I tell you. What I say. I'm going to take Primal Command because now we can find one of these two with Primal Command and then through the Breach it. Y'all need to listen. I like CGN Commander. Shut up and take my money. What happened? Stimulation available. Little Giants. <laughs> hold on. Let me, let me open this bad boy up. Hold on. Hold on. Sometimes they're too long and I can't see them on here. So I have to go to like Streamlabs and see the actual thing. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. All right, Ampfil. Little giants, creatures, spells, and anything in between that could become a spicy giant meatball at some point. If no choice available, take close. Phil, I have no idea what any of that means. Little giants, creatures, spells, and anything in between that could become a spicy giant meatball at some point. Oh my god, I have no idea what that means. Phil, you're going to need to clarify this meme nonsense. I'm going to put this... I'm going to put this in the stipulation. Any card that can become large... Oh, large and be good. Okay, okay. Uh, let's take Sundering Titan because we already have through the Breach things. Uh, Forge Master, meh. Okay, I'm going to put that can become large and be good. Okay. And Phil, you're awesome. I got it, my dude. Mox Pearl! I wish you were green, but I accept it. And become a spicy meatball. Why well, put little giants? Little giants? I don't even know what little giants is, but that shit's hilarious. Spells and anything in between that can become a spicy giant meatball at some point. In in parentheses, that can become large and be good. And then if no choice available, take the closest card. I don't know what taking the closest card to a spicy meatball is, but you're giving me a lot of freedom here. And I appreciate that. Ooh, Nahiri could be good. Wooded Foothill is also probably pretty good here. Forgot a comma. Which comma? Thank Gonna you. Put you over here. Chris, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Or regular sub? I think this is a new sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. There is an elf, too. Man, I like Nahiri, though, especially with these idiots. After Little Giants? Let me see. I see the no, I see the comment. There's a comment there. It says little giants, comma, creatures, comma, spells, and anything in between. If I wanted to get you, I would be like, you forgot a, the Oxford comma but after spells. But I'm gonna take Wooded Foothills and see if Nahiri does wheel. Natural order? Okay, so we're gonna be playing Eureka Natural Order through the breach. And we already have Woodfall. Alright, I'm liking it. Not close. Not close. This is the world I want to live in. Every day, it'll be alright. Progenitus. Oh, we have Progenitus, and we have Natural Order. And there's nothing else that I even care about in here. Except other than Gorgar, I've seen a Rex Sage. I think we're just Progenitusing, dude. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this gorgeous. I mean, even if we threw the Breach with Progenitus, it's still 10 damage, right? We're at her family's house. Can you please say loudly, Gabriel, you're a loser! For her younger brother to hear. Got it. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, oh, stomping ground. That's a beaut. 
That's a beaut with our wooded foothills. Dark Dwellers can go over here, soak in this Linvala. You guys ain't kidding anybody. Astrid says, Astrid, you're welcome, buddy. I appreciate you. Why do I have this? Who is this? Edwin McCain? Is it Edwin McCain? Oh, I like a biogenic ooze. Emrakul's alright. The problem is this Emrakul does some shit even if you don't cast it. This Emrakul just deals 13 if you don't cast it. Oh yeah, we can cast Kadama's Reach and then splice through the breach onto it. Ha! <laughs> That's just good times. That's just clean living, guys. It might just be Flame Tongue Kavu. It could be Yavimai Elder, too. Yavimai Elder actually fixes our mana, and it's a creature to sacrifice the natural order, which we do want a good amount of. I'm going to take the Elder, even though it's not my favorite card by a long shot. I'm gonna, uh, no, can't do that. I'm taking Ooze. Avenger of Zendikar? Jeez. Yeah, okay. You win. You win. It's a Sean Mullen song. It's called Lullaby. That's the song. I'm surprised no one knew that. I'm really surprised you guys didn't know Lullaby by Sean Mullins. It only came out in 1998, guys. It's only 22 years old. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I'm so uncomfortable with that. Gary! I'm gonna take this guy. I think our deck is looking pretty sweet so far. It's a little bit, it's a little bit high on the top end. But you know what? We got through the breach, natural order, and Eureka. So I don't even care. This is like, this is the Eureka deck, my dudes. And the Nahiri came back. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. G -g 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 Gorgeous. Oh, Night of Autumn? Sure. Faux show. I'm looking for savannas. I'm looking for that plateau or that sacred foundry to wield. Come on. Come on, wheel. I was probably taking condemn here. We have this. Come on, don't do me like this. Don't do me so dirty. You're gonna do me dirty? No, no sacred foundry. Someone took it. What a little bitch. What a son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit's gonna be. I got. I saw this and I was like, oh yes. And then I was like, oh no, it's just a piece of junk. It made me sad. It's like Finhorn elves. It's probably just Finhorn elves. And I was just like, no, nah, lol, no, it's not. <laughs> and you're like, oh, wait. I'm just going to take elves here. We don't have any one droppy boys. Ooh, I like Corsor. I also like Signet here a lot. Signet seems great. What's going on, phone? Oh, that's Reddit. Reddit is showing me a trending post on male fashion advice. I'm good, thanks. <sighs> yeah, we're just taking Signet. It flashes for both of our colors, and we can single-handedly play Nahiri off of it. So I ain't got no problem with that. Plus, it's ramp, guys. Hmm. Why are you over here? You should be over here. A Johnny is pretty good. Thran Dynamo is probably the pick, right? Yeah, I'm going to Thran Dynamo here. We can turn three Thran Dynamo. This deck's looking spicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rock 
Noble Hierarch. There's a plateau. Now we can get it with the wooded foothills. Oh, shoot. Guys, Noble Hierarch or plateau? I don't know. I bet plateau comes back. I bet plateau comes back. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Metamorphose is neat. Green Sun Zenith is neat. Vivian Reed is neat. All of these cards are neat. Oh, sneak attack. <laughs> I just didn't even... I just, I just didn't even see the... I almost missed it. It's okay. I'm going to put it over here. Oh, Savannah. I don't think we're a Crater Hoof deck. We just don't have the the, the width to be a Crater Hoof deck. Um, so I'm going to actually take the Savannah and feel good about fixing our mana just a little bit more. Plus, guys, I seriously think our top end is just fine. I like a Garrick. Search for Mara also decent. Sort of body and mind is okay. We also have 24 playables right now. So I feel like we got to cut something. Yeah, I was like, oh, do I take this card that I can't even remember right now? I don't know what it was. What was the card I took? I was going to take off tech. I don't remember. I think it's just Garrick here. I'll take Harmonize, but I don't see us playing it. Nature's Claim is pretty nice for the sideboard. I don't foresee us playing Mirari's Wake, but maybe. I'll take the Mirari's Wake, actually. That's powerful enough that I don't feel bad about it. All right, I think we're coming upon ya boy. Kitchen Finks. Fauna Shaman's not bad, because we can actually discard things to go get these gentlemen. We can also discard a Progenitus, which is super nice, and I actually like that better than Scavenging Ooze in the main deck. I'll take a Johnny Vengeant. Actually, Questing Beast is just a beater. Come on, Plateau. Don't do me like this. Our deck is tall enough. It's not wide enough. The difference is when you go wide, you have a bunch of tiny little dudes. You're like... Pfft. When you go tall, you have one big tall dude. Well, that's sad. Vivian Reed. I has a sad. All right, we need to make two cuts here. I mean, I don't regret my noble higher decision. I think it's Vivian, Champion of the Wilds. It might actually be Thran Dynamo, too. I think everything else looks pretty legit. No blue, no black. So this is what? One, two, one, two, three, four, five sources of white. And what is this? One, two, three, four sources of red. And then eight, nine, ten, eleven sources of. I like five, five, ten. We still get one more land, so I'll just add another white. Or green, rather. Yeah, I like this a lot. This seems good. Yeah, I didn't count the signet because it, it it was both red and and white, so it kind of balanced them both out. If that makes sense. Everything gonna be alright. You know what? I'll keep it and hope we don't draw progenitus in the first three-ish turns. We got turn two, draw turn three, draw turn four, draw. No progenitus. Uh, run out of tomorrow around seven? Maybe. I'm not sure. I'd have to check. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think that does what we want it to do, though, unfortunately. Because we're still going to have a turn three. Oh, actually, it's turn three natural order. Yeah, we'll just natural order instead. And hope they don't have council's judgment. So if we go Garrick, one, two, three, four, 
We untap two, and then we have Mox Pearl, so we actually don't have enough. We're just going to natural order here. I'm going to play this, though, because I'm playing around Mana Tithe for sure. Progenitus. Do 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 Progenitus. Progenitus. Let's see if they concede us in the turn three. Progenitus. Guess they're taking ten and that's okay. Boo do 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 do. Progenitus. They go to ten. Life Isis. What's going on? What is the song I'm singing? It's a Progenitus song, guys. Gary. I'm actually just going to make a beast here. Like, reason being, if we um, if we untap two lands, play Yav my Elder, they could literally Mana Tithe it if they have Mana Tithe. And then we give them a lot of value, and then if they have, like, Council of Judgment, we have no, nothing on board. So... My apartment is swarming with fruit flies, and for the life of me, I can't find the source. I've thrown out all the trash, checked every shelf in the kitchen. So here's the thing. If fruit flies get in, they're super hard to get rid of. They will go away eventually, but it takes a while. They're super obnoxious. I've had fruit flies, like, several times in my life, in my life of uh, living in rented places, but... Also, there's some tips that you can find online. Like, a, like if you put, like, out a bowl of vinegar... And you drop some like dish soap in it, they'll it'll actually they'll actually flock to it and it'll collect them because they'll they'll be um drawn to it, the scent. However, the the dish soap, if you put the di like a drop of dish soap in there, it'll remove the surface tension of the water, so instead of being able to stand on the surface, they'll actually sink and die. It's pretty dark, but fruit flies are really pretty terrible, so. This has been Frank's Fruit Fly Tips. Make sure you follow and subscribe for more fruit fly tips. Good old progenitus. We got a mox here. Or Emrakul the Aeon's torn. When we have sneak deck. That Caracas is a real pain. That's interesting. Progenitus. Do 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 do. Scooby bop bop. I mean, if we we can actually natural order next turn for Woodfall Primus, kill their Caracas, and if they actually blow up the Oblivion Stone, we get to kill something else, which is pretty cool. And they have one card in hand. Well, two cards in hand, sure. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Don't have the thing that we don't want you to have. Let's go after that Jace, because at least we can probably eat this guy. For sure, my dude. Boink. Uh, let's get Woody. Kill your Caracas. Ass, 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 ass. I left my. <laughs> Natural order. It's a hell of a magic card. Oh, they're they're if, oh they're dead. 
This is not a real game of magic right now. Jumpin' Joe has left and gone away. Sneak attack. Put in Emrakul the Aeon's Torn. Burr, 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 burr. I'd like to attack you for 15 damage now. You have to sack six of your perms. Be -de 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 okay, I'll sneak attack Sundering Titan next. I'll get rid of all your lands. Boo boo do do. Scooby do do do. Scooby do 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 do. Shuffle in. Oh, Frost Titan, he's like, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get this guy with my Frosty. And I'm like, nah, B. It ain't like that. Boom, 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 boom. That's the end. That was a good match. We had a. We had a rollicking. A rollick. Rollicking. Riveting game. I feel like that was a good match. I feel like both sides played hard. Jumpin' Joe has left and gone away. What's he singing? Simon and Garfunkel and Edwin McCain's lullaby? Sean Mullen? Sean Mullen's lullaby? Ah, shit. I'm gonna keep it. It has all our lands. At worst, we can, we can nug them for 10 with our sneak attack, right? So... That's all we can ask for. Where can you get synapse? It's literally. Do I have a command for it? Thank you. Right there, my dude. Garador, thank you so much for the resub. Garador, that was some disgusting sneaky sneaks. You ain't kidding, my dude. Wow, that was a good draw. Holy biscuits. I found an entire box of the flavors I didn't like. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's better or worse, my dude. Oh, wow. It's not like being that rude. We can get a Savannah with this guy. Savannah. Better than walking to the store at this point in the day. What is it like? It's gotta be like, was it 3.30 or 3.50 or 4.50 right now? Do you guys remember that time they killed my Findhorn Elf? That was terrible, right? That just felt really bad. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. Just seems like maybe you shouldn't kill people's Findhorn Elves if you don't want to have your own things done, done dirty. Thank you. So gather. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, 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 Mick. Welcome. Let's devote a druid here. MTG Pyro with the bits. Happy New Year, my dude. Happy New Year. It is Wednesday, my dude. Um. Okay. So, Gather, I appreciate it, man. When you guys put the effort in, like, link your accounts and then throw me a sub, like, that's super cool. And I really appreciate when you do it. Jumpin' Joe has left and gone away. <laughs> Holding up some receipts. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even know. Oh, it's not my turn. Oh, they time walked. I see. I see. So I was just should've just kept doing what I was doing, I guess. 
Sammy, Happy New Year, my dude. Happiest of New Year's. It is New Year's, my dudes. Do they have a counter spell with one blue? Do I care? I do not know. What if I do a little sneaky sneak? What if I put a Sundering Titan into play? Oh, we're sneaky sneaking all day. Gonna get rid of all your beautiful lands, my dude, 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 dude. Okay, one, two, three. And I'll get rid of one forest. Done. Okay. Sound sound a good. Say no to that for sure. So we have to get rid of two more lands. It's not ideal. One, two, three. But that's life, guys. We still have five mana, so. Unfortunately, this Gideon on board is... If they didn't have Resto, I think we'd be fine, but the Resto really puts a... Can we just... Emrakul. One-time Emrakul. Kadama's Reach. I think we just hold on to this. Like it's always gonna be ten damage, so it doesn't matter if we do ten now. We could also block something if we really have to. Plus, like we have two red, so we can play if we have like if we do like Emrakul, like we can actually still three, four, six. Like we're just trying to hit like Emrakul or something here. Nahiri. Nahiri gets rid of Resto, which is pretty cool. One, two, three, four. Sure. So we still have a turn. I think they're just going to kill us with like fiery confluence here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's incredible. I kind of like questing beast here. You guys should be way more impressed with a fire confluence call. Like way more impressed. I'm just gonna play Questing Beast as is. It deals with uh Garrick very, very well. A hundred called it bits. I was impressed. Sad but impressed. Well, That's all you can expect here, guys. Sadness, but impressed. Impressed sadness. Oh, Lord. Wow. Not a, gr not a green mana, a mug it. I'm still going to keep it because it's a lot of things. Cast you. Cast you. Cast you. Pass. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. And alt. Pass again. You got it. Double red for Sweltering Suns is not super easy for us. Plus, like, it was only good that game because they had Gideon. Like, we don't actually know what else they could have. <laughs> Questing Beasles. Alright, nice. Oh yeah, when we're like, we need to land in a languish here. And then what did we draw? It was a land in a languish. Okie dokie. Let's get in there. Twelve, huh? So one, two, three, four, five, six. We gotta use you. One, two, three. It's important to remember that it wasn't that. I said land languish, and then the first card was a land. Next card was a languish. Oh, a time walk, eh? That's a sweet explore. All right, that was the game. <laughs> Next card, Eureka. Not very good, but I think we're okay. Just gonna submit like this. I think we're good. Have you ever thought of using your superpower of calling cards for evil, like buying a lot of tickets? No. I don't know if that'd be evil. I feel like lottery is is inherently pretty evil. Um, you know what? Because of Eureka, I'm actually keeping this for the turn three Eureka. I think our deck is significantly better suited against Eureka than theirs is. Okay, we'll do that. This is really interesting. Oh boy. All right, next turn, Eureka, guys. We get to put in Sundering Titan, Garrick, Progenitus, and Sneak Attack. It's pretty good. If they play a Plains, it's even better. Because then we only have to kill... Ah, oh, Biscuit. Maybe we don't put Sundering Titan into play. Maybe that's the that's the key. <clears throat> Eureka, Eureka! Oh, maybe when you're not like that. Garrick. Sneak deck. Progenitus. <laughs> Deceiver Exarch. Select a permanent from your hand. Hmm. I'll pass. Add a green. Uh, do we just draw 10 here? Hmm. <sighs> draw 10 or make a guy? That is the question. Probably draw 10, right? And let's do one of these jobbies. Tap you for Signet. 
We'll tap the signet to activate sneak attack. Put in this fat idiot. And we'll burn that mana, because I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, this deck is... Uh, Jesus. These people have families. This is the sneakiest deck I've ever played. Sneak attack. Okay. Yeah, well, this is great. All we want to do is draw Mox. Mox is turn two Nahiri. That's even... T that's not bad either. Depends on how bad their deck uh, might be with this thing. Hmm. Huh. Can we Garrick here? No, we can't. We're one green mana shy of Garricking. Unfortunate. We can Eureka here. Is that good? We just put a Nahiri and a Garrick into play. Depends on what they have. You don't like Eureka here? Interesting. I kind of do. I mean, they have four cards. They could have anything. I'm going to do it. You know why? Because no guts, no glory. Land? Okay. Boros, Signet. Garrick? Okay. Also Garrick. Also Nahiri. Okay. Well, we came out ahead here, I think. So, uh, let's make a beast. I mean, we could exile the Avacyn's Pilgrim, but that doesn't really do much. Because they're still going to go kill this and then kill our Nahiri if we do that. I mean, they're probably still going to kill our Garrick, unfortunately. But we get a Nahiri on board. And they have to lose their Garrick to do it. So. so we're basically trading Garrick for Garrick and Beast. Yep, that's exactly what we thought would happen. Attacking Garrick. Attacking Nahiri. I mean, we get to kill the Tireless Tracker, though, which is kind of cool. We have one, two, three, four, five mana. Sure. No, I'm good. Oh, Jesus. They had a family. <laughs> oh, Lord, dude. Damn, boy, he thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn, boy. Okie dokie. So apparently, cards like Sneak Attack and Through the Breach and, and Natural Order, even Eureka, uh, they're pretty good. They're not bad. They're not bad. Rob, that one, that one was for that was one, that one was for Gabriel. All right. I like Sweltering Suns, but the problem is, like, we have also these little dorks, so... I like I like Questing Beast a lot uh, against decks like this. buck ba indeed, my dude. buck ba indeed. Oh, yeah, just buck ba Cyborg Yui with the 14 months, dude. Thank you so much. Welcome back, my man. My man. I kept this because it's turned to Elder, which is not bad. Oh, wow. That's... All right. All right. It's... I 
kind of just want to get a forest here. If we get a savanna, um, we're actually forced to kill our own white source when we have... Um, Oh, jeez. When we have, uh, what do you call it? I am going to crack now because I don't want any more lands. Like, we're forced to kill our own white source when we when we have Sundering Titan. And we already have Mox Pearl, which is more than enough white. Plus, we can just get an, a, a planes with this guy if we really... Oh, well, speak of the devil. Sure... Yeah, Beers SC is good. Rob, you're such a you're such an MTGO grinder fanboy. It's hilarious. You're like, oh yeah, I know that dude. He he, he grinds MTGO all the time, bro. He's real good. Mana drain. Oh jeez, I bet they're not playing Oko. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. I and mean, we're just passing here, right? I guess they get to play Oko and then start doing stuff, though. I mean, the only option is playing Questing Beast here. God, knowing they have Mana Drain is such a beating. I'd almost rather just run an idiot into it. All right, well, there you go. Make a food token. I have a food token. Okay. Is it possible questing beasts cannot be countered is that a thing that we can um let's do this i think this is worse I'm just gonna make you replay the circuit nine, search nine for this guy. One, two, three, four, five, sure. I mean they're just gonna mana like it, mana mana drain it, whatever, but I'd rather the mana drain this than these guys, I guess. I guess. Might even let it resolve. Oh, they didn't let it resolve. Dang. So good. They have 12 mana. It's whatever. Oh god, they're using most of it. Hydroid Crassus. That's cool. For 9. I'm blocking here because I want to maximize my chances of hitting good cards. So green, multiple greens, because I want sneak attacker through the breach. Mana vault is not what we are looking for. I mean, they can transform my... What do they got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 10 mana. They can transform my beast into a food 
into a, an elk. Yeah, that's interesting. We're at a point where I don't think Emrakul actually kills them, unfortunately. Yeah, that, that Oko into Mana Drain was pretty backbreaking. I mean, the Hydroid Crassus also wasn't terrible. <laughs> Man. Aggressive. 9, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I can't imagine what we can actually draw here to... To survive. Nope, that ain't it. Alright. Well, we got one more game to try to 3 0 this bad boy. Hmm. I kind of like Mana Tide, to be honest. I think we're fine. I think our deck is great. Uh, I definitely think we're, we're a better Eureka deck. I don't think Harmonize is going to do anything for us. This hand is gas. All right. We're just looking for one Mox. So we can go this guy. Yeah, this hand is nonsense. Are we living the Kodamas or each dream? I don't know. Let's see if they want to manage around this. They don't. Okay, so they're clearly just keeping up Mana Drain for the rest of their lives. So I'll just play dumb cards into it. Oh, just a regular old counterspell, huh? Well, seems okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're dead. Okay. They're actually dead. Sack them all the permanents on the board. There's no, there's no like one blue counter that's gonna blow me out there. Like remand is the only thing you can really do. Sorry. Oh, uh, so go one, two, three. Just play this guy. Just put two bodies on the board. Yeah, they're at two. Okie dokie. That's how you three o guys. Uh, you make sure you have sneak attack, Eureka, uh, through the breach. Natural Order, Progenitus, Woodfall Primus, and Emrakul in your deck. If you can do that, you're good. 
you win the game. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklaport, coolstuffinc.com. I had a new article go up just today. Be sure to check it out. Use promo code FRANK5. Uh, you can also check me out at uh, patreon.com slash franklapore. And I'm going to open these treasure chests right now because because Rob is like, open our chesties. I think I have two. Oh, I do have two. Open one. Let's one at a time, guys. Lighthouse Chronologist, an Ali and Trazi classic. Spirit Away. And five measly play points. Followed by a leering emblem, a wrath of God and five measly play points. Thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons.